Now to the 63-year-old grandmother who's won $10,000 in compensation after a dispute with her employer saw her terrorised by one of his thug mates. What you're about to hear are the actual recordings used by police to prosecute. She didn't invite that sort of behaviour. That was very unwelcome conduct and obviously very scary. Look, you're speeding. I'm doing 62 and you're pulling away, Gladys. You stupid This was a serious and concerning case. It certainly is. And the victim, 63-year-old grandmother, Gladys Casey. He was calling me Daigo Walk Slut and singing this song about me. A German-born migrant, Gladys has had enough. Chris Blue coming in the same things and singing the song. Gladys, uh, I like you, you a dog, you, you a Vogue, you a slut. And uh, that's, that's not acceptable. Most of this charming language was broadcast on CB radio, which used to be used mostly by truckies talking to one another, but now is used by anyone who buys a handset. Gladys found out she was being abused on the airwaves when someone heard her phone number being read out, called Gladys and explained to her that it was her they were talking about. From then on, Gladys started recording what they were saying on the CB radio while she was at work. And that's how she got the proof. Gladys did experience some very severe humiliation from what happened to her. Nerily Holmes is Queensland's acting anti-discrimination commissioner. Any of us who uh, would have experienced that behaviour ourselves would have felt intimidated, offended and, and scared. Hey boys, we're about in the white pages, is it? Yeah, it's under -E -E One of the worst things they did to Gladys was broadcast her address over the airwaves and suggest to listeners that she was available for sex. Not long after, Gladys says two truckies arrived on her doorstep asking for just that. I can't believe it what uh, happened to me, okay, because it's not really healthy. I'm very stressed out about this all the things what happened because I don't done nothing wrong to these people. So that's him? I guess so, yeah. Sure it's not you? I'm pretty sure. Looks remarkably like him to yeah, me. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> and this is the man Gladys says is the one who has harassed her. His name is Chris Bloom, but today he says his name is Jason. Well, I'm not commenting any further. Obviously, that's his child. Obviously, he's had a relationship with this person. Hence the reason for my photo in your hand. You be the judge. This is the photo they confirm as Chris Bloom, and this is Jason. Both have a noticeable mole on their chest. They're even wearing the same chain around their neck. And court documents list this as his address. So, Jason, you, uh, you haven't been going on YouTube with uh, videos that you've posted about... Uh... Gladys? Is this about me or Chris? Well, I'm just asking, you haven't done that? I don't even have a YouTube account, do you? Um, oh, I do, yeah. Hi, I'm Christopher Bloom. I'm here with my friend, Chris Bloom. And here is Mr Bloom on YouTube interviewing himself. It's fun, especially as with brain dead truck drivers. Fat, lazy, brain dead, uneducated pieces of And here is Mr Bloom chasing poor Gladys down the highway. We're this close to the KGB, you don't even and now Chris Bloom, I mean Jason, offers up this explanation for the CB bullying of Gladys. She said she'd stir people for days on end and whenever they've retaliated it's almost like she's hit the record button and gone, oh these people are picking on me, but yet whoever it was didn't you know, record her, I won't say starting it, but provoking situations. Someone also posted Gladys's name and number on an adult dating service with the message I love guys, the more the better, age and looks, not important. Now, Gladys says she's done nothing to encourage this kind of abuse, instead saying she used to work for a friend of Mr Bloom's who didn't pay her. And when she complained, this is what she copped. 
And so, Gladys, you've had to install security cameras on your own home. Well, I have to install the security camera in my home. When these people turn up in my door, I can have it approved to prove it uh, if the police need it. Gladys also went to the Anti-Discrimination Commission, which decided she'd been sexually harassed and racially vilified. Mr Bloom didn't turn up for the hearing and was found guilty in his absence. All right, so you're telling us we've completely got the wrong person here? Oh, you sure I'm so? I said, I don't, I'm not crazy. Yeah. Thinking. Sorry, I've just finished work, so I'm going as well. So, have fun. And Chris Bloom has been ordered to pay Gladys $10,000 in compensation, but so far she's received nothing. The matter is due back in court later this month.